Hello everyone. Today I will talk about Microsoft Excel. This video is a follow up to the first video talking about Microsoft Excel at a basic level. But today I will show you a more interesting thing that we usually use in the daily work. These new things are listed down in the remarks of the video. Please remember to press the subscribe to get more video and press the bell to know when the new video are available. Also, look for another video by checking the link below. So, start for today. I will show you a very strong sorting function inside Microsoft Excel. Now I have a list of best-selling book. You can see the title from the tail of two cities to the Hobbit and to the tail of the Rita Rabbit. And then I'm going to highlight on the data. Then do the quick short. So you can see that uh, you, we have two options here. Uh, the first one short A to Z and the second short S to A. So I choose the first one. You can see that the list name already rearranged from J to A and uh, the data also exactly rearranged according to the list name. It stays stay correctly with it. So we can also have another option. I, I go to highlight the data again and then go to the sort A to J and you can see that the data, the title already changed from the J to A for up the alphabet and also the data follow up, follow up with it exactly on the row but sometimes this is not uh, the thing that we want to be that we want to have so that I'm going to go to the custom short. So right now, here from the um, tabs, you see the custom short. Choose it, and then you can see that in the table you have chalk by column C, D, E or socks by value colors or socks a to this so to his uh yes the quick option here uh sometime is not the thing that we want to have now I'm going to go to the custom short and uh, here there's a three uh, options for you the first one sorts by title or the author or year or copy price so here is, I will choose the sorts by the price and sort on the sale values sale values and then the smaller to largest that's best okay so you can see that uh, the price will fall up increase yeah and the title and also other data correctly fall up and I will come back to the custom talk table and then this is the first level so if you want to add another level or another filter so just add level then the first we short by price so now we short by others uh short by uh, copy and millions yes the sell values and also 
first one let's choose largest then okay and also uh, you can say that the first uh, conditions the price will increase and then in its price the copies will increase so there's a two layer two condition for this software I just show you how to short data in Microsoft Excel. Now I'm going to show you how the filter option work in Excel. Uh, from the list, uh, we make the space the line here. Ensure next thing I want to highlight the row and go to the filter. So you can see the arrow here. Then you can click on the arrow to drop down it's now you can click on the arrow to drop down you can see everything is selected here so if you want uh, if you don't want to select them you can click on deselected then you can click on the thing that you want to see. Yeah. So the list now only one. You come back and select on. Yes. With this feature, uh, with this feature, you can see the exactly data, exactly data of that item. Easily to analyze them. If you want to clear future, go to the option. In the future, we have also uh, do the custom filter. So you can choose again filters and you go to the arrow, drop down, and choose the filter number. In this uh, function, you have another option to choose so like equal filter equal to a reader, then or even uh, you choose the custom of custom filters and uh, for the price we can limit uh, the price is greater than uh, for symbol 11 and or or and uh, less than uh, 16 for example 16 and then okay so you can say that uh, the condition on the price between 11 and 16 another thing today we want to show you how to round up or down the number inside the workshop excel so if we have the number like just four three three five here so if you don't want to see this uh, number uh, be behind or just want to see one or two digits then you can use now I want to show you how to use the route function of Excel for example if you have a uh, number too long number here so if you don't see if you just want to see one or two digits you can use the function uh, route so at here you can press on the blind cell then type the equal then route type the route here we have a lot of options here for the route, route down, route up, and you can tap the bracket. Then the number, which number we want to route. Here's the first one. <coughs> so, uh, if the number we want to route, we want to route. Uh, so the number here I choose on the P3. The value here and then comma the number of digits we want to see so here I just see zero 
close in okay so uh, the number now only the number four one digits and then it's easy you can drop drag down for the other number Next, I want to show you how to use the reality or absolute reality cell reference. Get the first one for uh, reality reality sales reference. So if you want to multiply the C4 together with the P2, so just to just remember every time you want to use a function, just type the equal. To. Then Press on the C4, multiply with P2, press enter. And then copy, copy for another row, for another num number here. Oh, so that you can see that uh, at the um, the number C4, C5, we multiply by the P3. The number will increase. So, in this case, if we want to keep the uh, number five here and multiply with the uh, these columns, just use the F four. So in the in the formula, you just type the P two and F four. You can see the dollar lock dollar enters. So this means that we multiply on the column here to here, but we lock the number P2. Every every number in the C columns multiply with only number P2. So that copy for another row. Here. So you can see that. We have the values so this is absolutely and then if we uh, if we want to copy to the other columns so just copy right here so how this work just press on this cell and check on the formula here so uh, this time the number five we multiply with the T columns. And then you click on the next column and then check the formula. At this time the B2 multiply with the three D4. And the other one also uh, F4 by f by e for multiply with the b2 so if you don't want to do that uh, you can use uh, at at here you can lock the uh, c this means that at every every cell here every uh, result here we want to use the the same results so now we try type on the C4 the dollars in C. It means we lock C. Every time we move, uh, every time we copy and paste here, uh, the value C not change. Then copy, drag down. Then okay. You can see that the uh, the change. They change the line, they change the row to multiply, but they keep the B2. So, uh, if, uh, so uh, now if you want to copy this column to another column, and you can see that there's the same values. So, check another cell and another columns here. You can see that the uh, the value the same because they multiply uh, the same value here. 